Lewandowski has established herself as a real presence. One of her four blocks, she's got 10 points, 11 rebounds. And she's really given her teammates this belief and this sense that we're in this game, we can win it. The four blocks matches a career high. She's got some work to do on the points and rebounds if she wants to get career highs in there, but she does have her 19th career double-double, yeah. and that's impressive against the number two team in the nation Absolutely. on the road. Absolutely, she's a rebounding machine. She led the games, led the Big East last year, 12 rebounds a game. Can't score that time over Dolson. There's Ferris. Doesn't have numbers, gives to Moore. Draws plenty of attention. Now Tiffany Hayes will reset. Husky's got to run offense here. Keep moving and execute. All kinds of time for Tiffany Hayes. She brings rain and buries the three. And just like that, UConn's up 13. Matches their largest lead of the game. Doesn't seem like it's a 13-point lead right now, does it? No, it doesn't. That was a huge three. The Huskies needed that little cushion. Even just that confidence burst of that bucket. Sims has to give it up. Shayla Scott, hounded by Maya Moore, stolen by Bria Hartley. Moore hit the deck in the backcourt. Now she's up and on her way. Inside for Dolson. Out for Moore. No on the three. Harrison had the rebound. If Pitt is smart, they're going to get the ball inside because Dolson is really tired. Ashley Anderson out front. They're going to get Maya Moore with the foul there. That'll be just her first. A little ticky-tack, Mark. I mean, she did put her hands on the torso, but come on. I mean, there's been so much physical stuff that has gone on. This is where, see, watch. Eh, it's just so inconsistent the way they call it. Fourth foul only on UConn in the second half. Tanisha Harrison's. Starting to regain her touch. Leading scorer in the game for Pitt. Another six minute drought without a field goal until that one. There is Bria Hartley scoring inside off the cut. Tania Sims walks it up. More the steal. Takes it herself and lays it in. Largest lead of the game, 15 with 5.42 to go. And it typically comes from the defense. That time Moore, great job getting her hand in the passing lane. A battle ba in the post yeah, there. Big battle inside. Dolson going at it with Lisa Burgess. And Burgess is a big, strong body. Dolson's got to be smart. No whistles either way on that trip. Probably could have been. Hayes off the hesitation. Burgess the rebound. No numbers for Tanisha Harrison, and she'll pull it out. Not a single point off the bench for either team today. Amazing. Wow, that's Scott. a scary stat. It is. Scott missing on the pull-up. Under five to go. Huskies a chance to extend that largest of the game 15 point lead. Hartley inside. Spectacular feed from Maya Moore. The crowd into it now. Pittsburgh using a timeout as this one starting to slip away from the Panthers. What a phenomenal, phenomenal play by your senior captain Maya Moore. The All-American that she is. Phenomenal pass. I mean, look at that. Just sizing it up and then just guns it inside. That's why I've been saying it all year. If you move without the basketball, your teammates will find you. Bria Hartley cut baseline, and Maya found her. 17 team assists, Meg, on 24 made baskets. Well, hey, folks, remember, stay tuned for the play that secured the win coming up after the game. It's made possible by our friends at New York Life protecting families for over 165 years.
Well, we've seen a couple of very key plays, both ends of the floor for the Huskies. We'll see if any of that, that action for the last few minutes could have secured it. Well, and let's think about it. two plays off the top of my head. Maya with the steal yeah. and, and then the bucket the other end. And then Maya with the great pass inside to Hartley. You know, at times like this, that's when you want your senior leaders, your best players, to make the plays to secure the game. An 11-2 run right now for the Huskies, stretching over six and a quarter minutes. Crunch time with a game on the line. They have their largest lead of the game, 17 points. Maya Moore leading everyone with 26 points. He has nine rebounds, four assists. We'll see how Pittsburgh can respond here. Harrison gives back for Sims. Asia Logan, contact before the shot. They're going to get Bria Hartley with the bump. What a quick step by Logan. I mean, Hartley's a good defender, good lateral movement, but when, it, when a player is explosive as Logan was there, watch out. And now a foul on the inbound away from the ball against Ashley Anderson. Check it, it's Lisa Burgess. That last Connecticut foul, Meg, was just their fifth, so so deep in the game and still not bonus situation for Pittsburgh. And then on that ensuing inbound, they committed the foul. Little problem with the clock. It had gone down to 4.09. They've not, now got it back up to 4.27. And Lauren Dixon will bring it up for the Huskies. High post Dolson. Hartley behind the Dolson screen. And the rebound. Chelsea Cole, number 12 in the game for the second leading rebounder in the Big East. Lisa Burgess down low, trying to go to work. And a tie-up situation. Lauren Dixon tied her up. Smart play by Dixon. As, as I was a post player, I would refer to Lauren as a little gnat that would come around and just make your life miserable. But she's doing her job. It was a great play by Dixon to come over and cause that tie-up. Of course, she would never bring it down low enough for those gnats to Absolutely. take it from you. The problem was I was about their size, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Great rebound for Maya Moore. A double-double now with 26 and 10. Exactly matching her numbers the last time the Huskies hit the floor. And they beat North Carolina on Chapel Hill on Monday. Uh, Dolson tried to do too much there. Send it back out for Moore and turned it over. Yeah, she wants that one back and he needs some aspirin. Well, it's been a back-and-forth affair, but the Huskies now with a 17-point lead. 3.39 to go. Looks like the Huskies are in control of their destiny tonight, but we are not in control of our destiny. That we put in your hands, and we trust you, and we ask you to help us as we try to bring you all the... The UConn. Well, Stephanie right. Dolson has played a lot of minutes tonight. Agnes Bernardo is just saying there's no way that is UConn ball. I think I agree with her. Just over three minutes to go, a 17-point UConn lead. Maya Moore turned it over. Would be the last gasp here for Pittsburgh. They need something special and very quickly. Chelsea Cole down low against Dolson. Dolson held her ground. Now Moore comes up with a loose one. Oh, boy. Oh, we're going to get an inadvertent whistle right there. If Maya Moore touched it again, it would have been a violation, but she let it go, and uh, the official admitting she really anticipated that call, and there was no violation. She's going to give it to UConn. And Agnes... To say apoplectic <laughs> is maybe an understatement. <laughs> oh, 
Dixon turns it over. It was intended for Dolson. Her fourth. Left alone. Ginia Sims cannot hit. Good boxing out by the Huskies. Getting ready to salt this one away. Dolson inside, scores again. A perfect, She's got a dozen. Perfect pass from Lauren Dixon, way at the top of the key. Threw it exactly where that ball needed to be thrown, away from the defense into the outstretched hands of Dolson. Another foul on the Panthers. So you see it down that last offensive possession. Up, away from everybody else. Dolson was the only one. Great angle there. You see, what happened was Cole tried to come around in front. You, just, you, know, you can't do that to someone as good as Steph Dolson with the hands that she has. And Lauren Dixon made it a perfect pass. Big hand for Stephanie Dolson as she comes out. We're seeing the first action of Lauren Anglin and Michaela Johnson getting in for the last nearly two minutes. Well, folks, stay tuned for the play that secured the win right after the buzzer. You get to see our pick for today's big play. Made possible by our friends at New York Life, protecting families for over 165 years. On the baseline, Moore was pushed. And ten team fouls already for Pittsburgh, so two free throws coming for Maya. Pittsburgh's over the double bonus. 23 shooting two. And Moore with a chance to push this Husky lead to 20 for the first time. Well, as it gets to 20, Mark, there, this game was far closer than this score yeah, absolutely. would indicate. You've paid a lot of credit. Four at the half, got down double digits, then cut it back down to six a couple times in the second half. Made the Huskies work. Another made free throw more. 10 of 11 from the line. 28 points, and she will check out. The first time today that Maya has come off the floor, Meg. I'm telling you, she's going to have to play 45 minutes a game. <laughs> well, she only played uh, 38 and a half tonight. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Productive minutes, to be sure. 28 points, 11 rebounds. Coming up on a minute to go. Logan misses the three. Michaela Johnson with the rebound. Up for Ferris. Heather Buck also into the game. She did not get a lot of minutes tonight. The shortened bench. Maybe shorter than Gino wanted it tonight. But it's all worked out. Johnson lost it. And with 39.6 to go. Pitt will have it again. I tell you, they're not always pretty, but when you consider the week layoff, you know, from Monday, and then you know you have a player leave the program. A lot has gone on this week, you know, and for UConn to get a solid victory like this, you know, it wasn't pretty, but a win is a win, and they'll take it and they'll learn from it. It'll stay here with the Panthers. 19.3 on the clock. A 21-point advantage for UConn. It is the biggest it's been in the game. Pitt had some great flourishes here tonight. Could not sustain it against the number two team in the nation. Playing now a third complete week since falling from number one after the loss at Stanford. Yeah, Pitt is going to, they're going to upset some, some teams. And a couple of free throws coming for Asia Logan. She'll try to become the first bench player to get a point in the game. Fouls on Ferris. First foul on Ferris. Well, how'd they do on Como's well, keys today? You know and they, you know, Chris Daly at halftime alluded to the fact that they didn't always play that hard in the first half. They got outworked a little bit by Pitt, but they adjusted, did a great job the second half. You know, I think when you when you play hard and you play smart, which they had moments where they played really smart and moments where they didn't. But the fun comes when you do the first two things. And Logan is able to register a bench point. The only bench point of the game for either team. Final seconds look to be dribbled out by Lauren Dixon. 
for a 72nd straight home victory for the Huskies. 45th straight.